always forget hats exist when I don't wash my hair and then I remember and I don't have to look like a freak, honestly. Uh, great. Today is a Monday, August something. We are having a busy work morning. My coworker who is out of town is back and we are catching up and I'm offloading all the projects of his that I was helping out on and getting him up to speed, which takes quite a bit of energy. I finished a room called Earth last night. I really like it. I wanna spend time articulating my thoughts about it and maybe doing a written review that I can post on Goodreads just so I can kind of have a time to self-reflect and put some thoughts together in a more considered way. But I recommend it. I think, I think if you're into my book taste, you will like it. Today I am participating in my first ever buddy read with Kieran from Katie Books. We are doing How to Be Both by Ali Smith. I've heard this book is very polarizing. It is form bending, genre bending, and kind of a bizarre, trippy reading experience, uh, which sounds great. I'm in the mood for that. I am in the mood for that. I know <laughs> Kieran hates Ali Smith and he just read Summer and now he's reading How to Be Both with me because he's a madman. So hopefully it won't be too painful for him. Also, this is a... <laughs> a bootleg uh, hat I had made online and it was inspired by Drake's worst behavior. It was a moment. It was a time and place for us people. We were young, we were in college, and we loved Drake. Uh, if you're wondering what that reference is to, it's that. Also, I'm just the worst, so it makes sense. Most of my lunches are just leftover dinner. And last night, me and Kiki had a proper Sunday comfort meal. So we have mashed potatoes, barbecue tempeh, green beans that we grew in our garden, and a roll. Just a light petite lunch for me. Also, I've been talking to Kieran and kind of just roasting him on how weird the Welsh pronunciations are. Look at these words that he tried to have me pronounce. <laughs> this is my, my pronunciation. Good morning, Tuesday, checking in for the day. I worked all morning, it's 12 right now, it's my lunch break. I just slammed back some leftovers and I'm about to take Spud to the vet. He needs to get a nail removed. It sucks, we're going to the emergency vet, which will be three times as expensive as his normal vet. But his normal vet doesn't have appointments for like three weeks, so sick. I love that for my bank account. Um, I am just watching Claire Reed's books, her video about millennial fiction. Ugh, a queen. An eloquent, critical queen. Love her brain. And I love her breakdown of what qualifies as millennial fiction and she's reviewing luster, exciting times, and a lot within this part two of her series. And it brought up a lot of the same questioning I had about A Room Called Earth. So I want her to read that and do a review on that as well. I'm still reading Ally Smith, How to Be Both. <laughs> I'm gonna bring that in the car with me while I wait for Spud to go to the vet. But I'm also gonna bring Crudo because what if I can't get into How to Be Both? Then at least I could get into Crudo and I won't sit on my phone. So that's my plan and I will talk to you when I'm home from the vet, which hopefully will be sooner rather than later. They call them stony baloney. Macaroni. Happy Wednesday, everyone. Wednesday. It is a Wednesday. It is a good Wednesday. <laughs> um, I'm in a good mood. We love it. Yesterday when I took Spud to the vet, I ended up waiting in my car there for four hours total with him. It was terrible and uh, an incredible waste of my day. <laughs> but I'm home now. I wanted to talk about uh, how to be both a little bit. Okay, so how to be both. I got to a page 100 last night. I made that my reading goal before I fell asleep. Um, and how am I feeling? I feel maybe the first 30 pages of this book, maybe because I was just like acclimating to the pacing and the writing style, were literally incomprehensible. Like I had no idea what Allie Smith was writing about. I had no idea what we were supposed to be tracking. 
um, and I kept constantly referring to the back of the book as like a summarization of what I was experiencing. I was like, what am I doing? Original literary double take. I'm like, all right, everything is not how it seems. Uh, so that was stressful. I, I think this book requires a lot of attention. This is not a book that you can glaze over kind of internally while you're reading and, you know, skirt to the next paragraph and understand what happened. It is overall pretty inaccessible, I would say. I don't love it, but I am starting to sink into it a little bit and understand what's happening with our main 1460s character. The fact that they are a woman who has to pretend to be a man in order to be a painter and we're at the sex houses. I'm all caught up there. I understand what's going on. It seems like there's a little bit of a plot for me to cling to. I don't know where it's going. I don't know how the latter half of the book is going to be a double take of the first half. I'm assuming it's something about, I mean, how to be both, right? So already there's like the gender twist that's going on in the first half. And I'm assuming that's gonna play out somehow in the second half as well, but in a modern context, I'm not really sure. This book is fucking weird though. When people say they love Ally Smith, a part of me is like, literally why? Like this doesn't seem playful. And it doesn't seem like an exuberant testament to creativity so far. Uh, yeah, I agree, Josh. Yeah, uh-huh. But I'll keep trucking. I just kind of think everyone's lying so far, but maybe I'm too stupid. Maybe I'm not um, able to grasp the underpinnings of this book, which is fine by me, but just wanted to share a couple thoughts on this. It's, it's a thing that I am doing. Good morning, chicken nuggets. It is Thursday, August something. Uh, there's a hair on my lens. Got it. Happening, I did a spin class this morning patting myself on the back. Endorphins are real. I hate that. I hate that you get happier after working out. It shouldn't be that way. I am going to get a burrito for lunch today, so that's going to be my highlight. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, and I got to chapter two in Ali Smith's How to Be Both. Let me go get my book. Okay, How to Be Both, right? Right. I got to this chapter, haven't started reading it. Finish the 1460s piece. I have retained nothing from it, nothing. I know it was about a painter. I know there was a discrepancy about gender. I know there was some weird shit with the dad. I know it was about like an understudy and there's a lot about Italian Renaissance in here that I didn't like have context of and didn't settle into. Uh, throughout it, there are some beautiful little sentences and pieces of writing. Like this, this last page. Hello all the new bones, hello all the old, hello all the everything to be made and unmade both. I, I thematically understand that tension and duality happening within the first chapter, but I genuinely can't tell you what it was about. And like, at the end of the day, I'm just left with like, wow, what a waste of my time. <laughs> I'm excited to read the modern day one because maybe it'll be more comprehensible to me, but honestly, I'm doubtful. Also, um, I think I talked about this earlier, but I tried out Green Chef, which are like, you know, Hello Fresh or Blue Apron, but they have a vegan option. Uh, I fucking hate cooking. <laughs> It is my least favorite household activity. I love like making a snack board. I love making a sandwich, but a full meal for dinner, not not my thing. Uh, Kiki cooks for us like seven nights a week. So that has become pretty unsustainable in quarantine when we're not going out anymore. So I wanna contribute to my household and my relationship. <laughs> So the plan is I do three nights a week now and they're gonna be these like easy meal prepped uh, versions of whatever Green Chef sends me every week. It's a little bit more, well, it's definitely more expensive than it would be than our grocery budget. But honestly, um, 
worth it for my sanity. Anyway, Jesus. I made this last night, the black bean tamale casserole. That was like masa dough. And you like put it in the uh, oven over like a black bean casserole thing. Oh my God, it was so bomb. And Thai peanut noodle stir fry. And orange miso tofu and black rice. Gorge, right? So, no big deal. I'm a chef now. <laughs> Hello from my bedroom. I am reading How to Be Both on my lunch break and we are in the latter half of the book in current times essentially and I'm already liking it a lot more. Some themes of death and grief uh, and like mother daughter question mark relationships. I'm kind of I am confused if um George's gender identity on what it is. They haven't really um, gotten into that. They're using she, her pronouns, um, but the name is George and sometimes they're called Georgia. So excited to see where that goes. Feels like a relief to be in this part of the book. It feels way more digestible and like I'm tracking. I wonder if that's on purpose. I wonder if this is going to be just like a more digestible version of the prior half of the book. I don't know. Uh, but it feels less laborious and less like a chore so hopefully I can get this book done today. Probably have like a hundred pages left. I'd love to finish this up so I can move on to something else that I'm like genuinely excited to read. <laughs> uh, I just feel like I had to read Allie Smith because it was so heavily recommended by the internet really. And happy to be here. Happy to be in the latter half, but we'll see. Also, I'm laying in bed during my lunch break under the covers, which is like not good for productivity, but good for me spiritually, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Happy Friday, chicken nuggets. Uh, I never ate it all yesterday, except for a little bit in bed during my lunch break because I worked to 9 p.m. last night on a late night ass. Today is Friday. What bookish things can I talk to you about? I need to finish How to Be Both. I need to finish it. Uh, I made an online order from Blackswell. Let me, let me see where I bought it from. I don't even remember. Yeah, Blackswell, which I think is a UK bookseller and they deliver to America, which is cool. But I bought Burnt Sugar, Shuggy Bane, Who They Was, Redhead by the Side of the Road, and Love and Other Thought Experiments. <laughs> So, a booker themed book haul, huh? Yeah, I'm excited. I just, I want to participate in the hype a little bit more and Burnt Sugar isn't out until 2021 in America, so I had to do what I had to do. I just got a review copy in the mail from Soft Skull, Exquisite Mariposa, which means butterfly in Spanish, right? Uh, they publish such amazing work, most notably my favorite book of all time, Vanishing Twins. And this description sounded amazing. And right up my alley, it says, Exquisite Mariposa is like if Eve Babbitts wrote Wheatsy Bat. Which, if you are forever a tween girl at one time and you read Wheatsy Bat, mm, I'm sold. <laughs> uh, so I'm excited about this. Thank you, Soft Skull. You are, you are the MVPs always. I was feeling kind of guilty because I didn't upload a Thursday video this week because my week was busy and I just didn't have any ideas. But then I remembered, this is for fun. <laughs> this is for fun and I'm only gonna do videos when I feel like it and when I have something to say. Just, just a reminder, you guys, it's all, it's fine. It's fine if you skip an upload because this is all just for fun. Hi everyone, happy Saturday. Uh, I've had, a pretty cool Saturday so far. Kiki is watching basketball, so I was able to, oh my God, my hand is shaking from coffee so bad. Hold on. That's still shaking a lot. I can't tell. Okay, I'm holding it with both hands. <laughs> uh, Kiki's watching basketball. So I had to return something at Target and ended up walking in the store for like an hour and just like spacing out and being alone, which was great. Uh, but I'm home now. And we have to go to the hardware store in a little bit to pick up some plywood because we're relining our kitchen cabinets today. Last night, <laughs> if you can hear that, that's Kiki screaming about basketball. Um, last night I was in the mood to read, but did not want to read How to Be Both. So I picked up Crudo by Olivia Lang. Oh, 
Oh my god. Uh, so I picked up Crudo by Olivia Lang and so kind of a weird book. <laughs> I think after I'm done with both of these, I'm gonna have to read um, something really straightforward to kind of be a palate cleanser, but I'm liking it so far, I am. Great, let's go look at the cabinets. Also look at this garden hall. Isn't this the ugliest cucumber? But she's mine. <laughs> with these kitchen cabinets, they're the original cabinets to the house, I think, and they're just unfinished plywood inside. But our drawers in the kitchen got replaced at some point and they have finished plywood inside. And it just is like a lot nicer. This cabinet got finished plywood inside too, as you can see. So just these two upper ones we need to line today. And then maybe this bottom one as well, because that's unlined. All the other drawers are lined, which is cool. Just makes it feel like cleaner and nicer. They like line this with wallpaper, as you can see. And it's definitely from like at least the 70s and just doesn't feel clean. So it's just like an easy upgrade we can do to the house. Whoa. Which we're gonna be doing. Also my book of the month came in and this was my pick for this month. It actually looks good. I skipped last month. I think this is a debut author, um, so I'm excited for this. You guys, I curled my hair with a curling wand for the first time in like over a year and I feel like queen of the normies now. Like I feel like someone's wife named, I don't know, like Megan, Heather, Kurt. Kristen, <laughs> I'm giving you like kinfolk. Do you feel it? Like 20, 2014, 2015 kinfolk with like this v-neck dress and this hair today. I'm like, sorry, I have to go to my new age Christian church with my husband, Tristan tonight. Sorry. Okay, very calming kitchen scene with all of our dishware out of the cupboard. She empty. Kiki's done it again. Oh yeah. Hello? Yeah, I just finished the cabinets. I'll be right there. Hello everyone. It is Sunday. We've already gone in the farmer's market. We did grocery shopping. It is 100 degrees again today, so we're just gonna stay inside. And I'm gonna, I think, keep reading Crudo. Maybe I'll never finish How to Be Loaf. <laughs> uh, we'll see. I fucking finished How to Be Loaf. I feel nothing. I feel nothing. I feel nothing. Nothing. I also finished Crudo. It's a very short book. I liked it, but I wanted to like it more. That's all the thoughts I have. I can't, I can't, I can't come up with anything else. Is that okay? You probably can't even hear me because of the air conditioner. Does it look like I'm being interrogated? <laughs> I think I want to read nonfiction by Olivia Lang. Not, not this. It, it, it's hard to match the current anxieties of the world with 2017, you know what I mean? I was like, hm, try harder, baby. Let's pick out a new book for me to read and let's be, let's like uh, follow our intuition. We're gonna really think about this. These are our options. Exquisite Mariposa. This actually sounds really good to me, but maybe too similar to uh, Crudo and A Room Called Earth. The Mars Room, Milkman, Tin Man, <laughs> Milkman, Tin Man, Tender is the Flesh, and The Death of Vivek OG. Uh, I need to read these. I think I'm picking this only because it says compulsively, compulsively readable. <laughs> that sounds like what I need. Great. Uh, okay, everyone. Hope that was maybe even a little bit interesting. I don't even remember what happened this week. 
this is the book we're taking with us into the next week. It sounds compulsively readable. <laughs> uh, have a good week. Goodbye.